The Jackson Road, off to my right, was the main thoroughfare leading into and out of the city of Vicksburg in the summer of 1863, and the direct road to the state capital of Jackson located 45 miles distance off to the east. Guarding this major thoroughfare into the city were two powerful earthen bastions. On the north side of the road was the 3rd Louisiana Redan, a triangular-shaped fortification apex facing the enemy. And off to the south, where you see the tall shaft of the Louisiana Monument, was Great Redoubt, which happened to be the largest and most formidable fort in the Confederate defense line around the city of Vicksburg. On May 22, 1863, Union troops of the 17th Army Corps stormed down the Jackson Road to attack these bastions. Although they succeeded in reaching the fortifications and plant their colors on the exterior slope of the forts, they were finally driven back with heavy loss. Throughout the course of the siege, Union fatigue parties working under the direction of engineering officers excavated 13 separate approaches toward the Confederate fortifications to gain access to Vicksburg via the road network. The most successful of these operations was here along the Jackson Road. Known as Logan's Approach, named in honor of Union General John Logan, a division commander, Union fatigue parties inched their way closer each and every day until finally by late June they had reached 3rd Louisiana Redan. Excavating a gallery under the fort, they planted 2,200 pounds of black powder and on the 25th day of June the mine was detonated. Although battle raged in fury for 26 hours as Grant sent in one fresh regiment after another attempting to exploit the breach in the Confederate works, the assaults were driven back the breach was sealed. The siege would continue.